I've lost probably a hundred pounds in the last three years on the carnivore diet and I've been a big fan and on Tuesday uh, I had a heart attack. I've had a huge amount of confidence in the carnivore diet, thought it made sense. This is really kind of shaking my worldview. I'm a little lost on where to go and what to eat. This is a really sad example of somebody who likely avoided medication and got duped into following a carnivore diet by influencers who talk about conspiracies or miraculous anecdotes. Of course, he did lose a lot of weight, which is the type of shorter term result that carnivore influencers often promote. But he did mention a family history of heart disease and a history of high LDL cholesterol levels both during and prior to the carnivore diet in the full video. And on that front, the carnivore diet isn't really gonna help. He also isn't the only example like this. There are plenty of stories of carnivores who end up having strokes or identifying coronary artery disease, they just don't tend to get as much attention from the pro-carnivore crowd. But I also don't want to make this video just about the carnivore diet. These diseases can take decades to develop, so we're likely progressing long before they adopted a carnivore diet, and then that just adds to it. What I do want to touch on is how individuals like him are victims. He is obviously confused. And rather than talking to his doctor, he's turning to social media for advice after having a heart attack. Let that sink in. I even commented and suggested not seeking advice from social media, but rather speaking with his doctor and to consider working with the dietitian. to which he replied that not all doctors even agree on things like statins, so he wanted to pull TikTok instead. This is where medical and nutrition misinformation has led so many people. Let's be clear. There is overwhelming consensus around the benefits of statins in medicine. There's just a handful of loud and sometimes charismatic voices on social media who make it seem like there's debate. You won't see that debate in medical guidelines. If there's any debate, it's usually about at what point do you offer a statin. Some guidelines may just be more proactive than others. But after a heart attack, they're recommended in almost every case unless there's a specific contraindication. And if I had to wager, his doctor probably previously recommended cholesterol-lowering medication because of his history of high LDL cholesterol. But because of misinformation, he's skeptical and was probably convinced by influencers that a carnivore diet would be his best bet. So he really exemplifies why misinformation can be so dangerous and has real-world consequences. And he's far from the only victim of that misinformation.